Hey. Good evening. Bit, Uncle, PJ, good evening. Welcome in. Good to see you guys again. Bit, thanks for thanks for the stretch. Nothing like a good stretch. Ugh. Before we dive into the triangle strategy. Um I don't know, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. The plot. I'm I'm very, very excited. Who is this cutie streaming? Hi Polly. Hi Moon, I don't know. Um I'm sure that plenty of cuties are streaming right now. Okay. Do we have visual? Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So, I did a little bit of grind. Mostly everyone is 28. Some people are still 27. Corentin's 26, but who cares? We're not going to use him anyway, probably. So I think we should be in a good spot to... to do the thing. To do the next battle. I just realized... I also just realized that we have almost 700 quiet... quietus? Qu quieti? Quietuses? Um, so we might as well buy some of these things that we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, rejuvenate, revive fallen ally with full HP. Switch one, switch out one of your party members. Revive a fallen ally with 25% HP. That's gonna cost 3 QP, that's gonna cost 4. Ah, uh, man, I feel like the... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe 25% is fine? We only have five quietest points that we can do per battle. So this is gonna eat all of that, almost. So maybe this kind of like will allow us to resurrect a guy and at the same time, we'll have two left over for a little bit, like, more options, I guess. I don't know. Been sitting here five minutes, excited about my lunch, but I deadass just opened the website. Never actually ordered. Oh, man. I had pizza. Just before... I had this, like, 30-minute gap uh, between my last meeting of the day and when I'm supposed to start stream. So I timed my pizza order so as that it all arrives during that time so as that I can eat it before the stream. And uh, it, it worked out very well and I'm happy because it was a good pizza. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to leave encampment. That's what I'm trying to do. So, um, here's our battle, but we do have three character stories, so let's, uh, let's get through them. We have Maxwell, Anna, and Jens. Start with Maxwell. That you would return to us, Hale and Hull. Tis a much-needed fortune in these trying times. With luck, soon my return will not be the only cause for celebration. I am glad to see you unharmed, Hewett. I would choose none but you to stand by Prince Roland's side in my absence. Thank you. 
However, I am afraid I have far to go before I can measure up to your legend. A legend that seems to have begun a new chapter, now that you have doffed that mask of yours. Forgive me for prying, but I must ask, why did you wear it for so long? Truth be told, I have not thought upon those reasons for some time. When I served Glenbrook as its Master of Swords, I did not wear it. You were Master of Swords? The Dawnspear? Indeed. My star was rising, and I was tasked with investigating a group of nobles who were dealing in stolen works of art. A simple assignment, or so I thought. I was yet young and unaware of the pettiness of those who consider themselves... Uh, I'm sorry. I need to tab out of the game for a sec. ...to be our betters. Sorry about that. I apprehended several of the criminals, but one escaped. That was my grave mistake. In shadows, they harbored their grudges until they exacted their revenge. But the life they took was not mine. It was my love's, the woman to whom I had promised my future. What? I never knew. The villain was eventually brought to justice, but no sentence could bring back what had been stolen from me. Had I only been more thorough and not been so naive, then she... She would still be. Sir Maxwell, there is no way you could have known. The blame falls not on you. Nay, my inexperience sowed the seeds, and I will reap their bitter fruit until the day I die. I swore I would never again allow someone I loved to come to harm. To ensure that, I had to discard who I was. I gave up my title as Master of Swords, hid my true face behind a mask. I spoke only with my spear. And you were reborn as Glenbrook's fiercest warrior, the Dawn Spear. Your feet surpassed the imagination of even the most silver-tongued of bards. <sighs> Forgive me. I still tend to get lost in the stories, even though you are standing here before me. No, I should thank you. There are few who would understand my struggles, but I believe you are one. House Wolfort has seen its share of misfortunes. That you all still walk with your heads held high is an inspiration to all. I was brought back from the brink of death to fight by your side. To face the dangers ahead, undaunted and unhidden. I may owe fate for my return, but I shall fight tooth and nail before it takes aught from me again. At least, such are the things I tell myself, in my quiet moments. I only pray the words can give me strength when it matters most. They will. No doubt you are stronger now than you have ever been. Thank you. I no longer need to hide in fear. I will not look away. Wow. Anna searches for answers about her parents, and Eridor seems to know more than he lets on. Alright. Under this tree. This here's the land of the Jacks clan. Or used to be more like. That clasp on your chest. That's their sigil, if I'm not mistaken. It's a memento from my parents. Or so I was told. Aye, now that I'm looking for it, I can see the resemblance. Same silvery hair and everything. Villages near here met with a pretty terrible fate. They begged the armies to spare their fields. The only one who listened was one of House Wolfort's bannermen. No one was surprised, big war hero that he was. But by the time we got here, the Jacks had been all but exterminated. He was digging graves for the dead, 
enemy and all. A hero and a gentleman he was. Names on the tip of my tongue. Benedict. Aye, that was it. Do you know the man? I'd like you to pass on my gratitude, if you do. Thanks for showing me the way. Your coin's all the thanks I require. If that's all you'll be needing me for, I'll leave you to it. You make a poor stalker. Ain't exactly what I'm built for. You fought in the battle here, didn't you? Benedict swore me to secrecy. But suppose it ain't break an oath if you already know. Oh, but first I ought to tell you. You've the right to the truth. And those ain't my words. They're his. That's why he never tried to stop you from finding out about your parents. You know of their fate? We drove the enemy up the clifftop. Cornered him there. The same instant we cut their leader down, a babe cried out in the distance. In the hideout, we found you, all swaddled up. A letter pinned to you with that same clasp on your chest. <sighs> Live strong, Anna. Stronger than any. I see now. Your family died at our hands. If it's vengeance you want, you can take it out on me. That doesn't sound like the Eridor I know. Do you think so little of me? To assume I would forsake my friend, bloody my hands with revenge. I know the truth at last. That is enough. Is it, Anna? Or are you forcing it to be? Don't be a fool. Benedict is the one who raised me. If I ever want for a father, I know where to find him. And when we've won this war, I shall make sure he understands that. Damn. What a situation. Holy crap. While paying a visit to a nearby village with Saranoa, Jens finally realizes what he can do as a blacksmith. This place was host to a battle not long ago, wasn't it? We have come here to help. Let us offer what relief we can. I never imagined the war would spiral this out of hand. Before the fighting started, all I cared about was becoming the realm's greatest blacksmith. I dreamed of forging the perfect weapon, a testament to strength. But what is strength, truly? Of late, I have pondered much on that question. And have you arrived at an answer? Well... There they are! Thanks for the sweets you gave us. Hey, let's play a game. Very well. What shall we play? Apologies, Ienz. You may return. You needn't wait for me. Come on! Over here! I believe I may have found my answer, Lord Saranoa. Courage. Kindness, warmth that kindles a smile upon a child's face, the fortitude to keep fighting, no matter what trials you may face. Through it all, your heart remains unbent and unbroken. That is what will end this war. You, my lord, and the unmatched weapons you carry within you. Hey, you 
should play with us too. <laughs> if you insist, here I come. All right. Here goes. Minister Lila, did you use Rosellan remains to create Elfric? I advise taking more care with your words, Minister Serenoa. You are one of the saintly seven. You have a responsibility to protect Haizan's secrets. Then it is true. You steal their freedom, their very lives. And you dare to call what you do healing? Everything I have done was as the goddess willed. I call myself nothing but her loyal servant. All of us are hers to command. No, not all of us. House Wolfort means to free the Roselle from the goddess's tyranny. Do you now? As one committed to the preservation of life, you know salt should not be a luxury for the privileged few. Is that not what you told me? Help us. If not for the Roselle, then to change Hyzant for the better. Change Hyzant? How wonderful that would be. Then... No. I cannot help you. The Holy One would have my head for turning traitor. Besides, my hands are far too bloody to ever be washed clean. Here it goes. Decimate the enemy forces. Lose all allied forces. Straightforward. We like straightforward around these parts. Let's see. Yeah, so I feel like here we got a situation where uh, probably patient play style is gonna benefit us. Um. They do have uh, some archers here. They do have Lila. What can you do? Not exactly the strongest. However, she's immune to poison, silence, and fury. Temptation and instant death. She can slow. Oh, okay, so her slow is actually very powerful. 236 power. That's an. That's pretty... It's pretty strong. She's level 31. She has 700 HP. Damn. Drive home and watch once at home. Fair enough, uncle. Drive safely. Stop all enemies within range for two turns, preventing them from taking any actions. Oh, God, it's annoying. Ah, uh, what is she gonna do though? I wonder if she's gonna advance or or if she's gonna stay. Because I'm gonna try and play it safe at the start, I think. That is a weird like grid for my potential formation. <laughs> Apparently you can just place a person here, but not here. Only here, here, or here, but not here. Weird. Um, Alright. I don't know. Well, current and bye bye. We don't want you. Sorry, but it is what it is. I don't know if I want Narv, and I don't know if I want Roland. Uh, I probably want Eridor. I probably want Julio. Um, and perhaps Azana. Please leave everything to me. Um, let me 
let me see now. What do I? What do? What do we got? Oh, Flanagan. I don't know about Flanagan. Also, Jens. I do want to try out his turret. He has a turret now. So, it would be cool to try, but... There isn't exactly much use for him outside of that. Outside of just giving that a shot. So maybe we will skip. Um... We do... Did we bring Azana in? We did. So we have Azana. Maybe let's bring in another mage. I am ready. And maybe let's bring in Anna. Uh, or... Wait, we have Medina. Hmm. So we have two healers. Which should be decent. So let's bring Anna. Um, Huet would be nice, but I feel like I feel like I might want Archie here since we're not gonna really be moving at a insane pace here, and there's really no spots for um, for Huet to perch on outside of like here, but they're still gonna be able to reach her. So I think we're gonna keep Archie. Um, we do have Maxwell, which is good. I like Maxwell. If we really wanted to, we could swap him out for something. Someone, someone else. Mm. I feel like what's left for me to decide is either keep Medina or take Medina out and put Tossabara in instead. But I think I'll I'll keep Medina. I really like Medina. Especially since she gives TP to people that she heals. It's kind of kind of crazy. Um I will drop back the encampment to resupply, though. Or just at least to check what we got. We have 99 small pellets in stock. So we can buy as much as we need. How much? Okay, 11k. It's, it's a little pricey and we don't really need that much. Let's just buy... so we have 50, shall we? Let's buy 25. 3k. So she can toss them out even if she doesn't need to heal. Just to give TP to people. I feel like that's good. Uh, I will buy... I will buy like a bunch of poison recovery pellets because she can use those to poison people. Which is wonderful. Um... Large ranged pellets are nice too. Maybe let's buy so we have like five of them. And then let's buy maybe a couple of regular large. We have 10, so let's buy up, up to 15 maybe. And that's good enough. All right. How are we looking? There are some people that will be able to reach those tiles on turn one. But as it is now, no one's gonna be able to reach them. So maybe let's put our melee users to the front. Um, Potentially... Um, let's keep 
our mages closer to Julio, because Julio is going to be the one supporting them more than anything else. And I think we should be good to go. A whole bunch of these people have three, 300 plus HP. Well, it is what it is. I think we should be good. Let's save our game. And... Let's go! I wonder if there's gonna be any surprises. These heretics spit in the face of the goddess. They deserve nothing better than utter annihilation! Minister Lila, how can you pretend the teachings are righteous when you know the truth? There is no turning back for me. I am Lila Viscraft, one of Hyzant's saintly seven. In the name of the goddess, I deem your life forfeit. It's my turn. All right. Well, as far as Anna is concerned, we can go snoop around. Um, potentially, maybe let's get her more to the side. Yeah. Shadows can see me. So it's come to blow. Why can they act again? On my honor as the dawn speed. All right. So Lila is moving ahead. Uh, that is scary. I am very, very scared of temporal suspension. If she gets me with that, like, and it says in range, so I assume it's an AOE. So if she gets, like, a couple of people, they're just gonna be sitting ducks for two turns. That is not a... not a problem I wanna have. Now the good thing is that she is limited a little bit with her TP. So there's gonna come a limit to what she can do. Anyway. I feel like we need to start kind of placing our vanguard and just try and keep our mages safe behind them. Um... See if we can take one of these guys out by focusing them. For the greater good. You will have a turn. Hmm. Sure. Okay, so Archibald has a new thing. He now has Inescapable Arrow. Which is a 1 to 12 range, 178 power attack that hits anywhere. Even if there, even if there's no direct line of sight, so it bypasses any obstacles, which is pretty sweet. However, oh, come on. 
I'll take it from here. Okay, so Julio, I feel like we need to give um, two TP to Azana straight off the bat, so as that she can start casting the big, the big zap. And let's place Julio here. Cool heads shall prevail. Uh, Sheila. Let's not do anything for now. Just to get a turn sooner, because we'll need her. Okay, so here's Aridor. Um We could potentially provoke some boys. There's not much he can really do. But I guess if we can provoke... Hmm... I don't know. We're kind of we're kind of planning to to take this guy out of commission. If we can if we can help it. So provoke just for one just for one guy. I don't know if that's really worth it. Uh, we might just stand here and do nothing for this turn. I will end this. Okay. There's a potential for Scorch. There is also potential for Pillars. Um, if I stand like here, we could do Pillars on these two guys. Not sure if that's really worth it. I think Scorch is just fine for now. Maybe stand here and then Scorch here. Okay, so Azana, I think I'll put her on a on a safe spot. Like here. And let's let's go ahead and hit them with the ride of thunderstorms. They must put an end to this bloodshed. It's gonna take one turn of casting, but what can you do? Okay, there she is. You will pay for sinning against the goddess. I do only what I must. Slow. I wasn't. Oh my god, he got one shot. Lila Biscraft, you have inflicted enough cruelty upon the Roselle. No more. What I did, I did as one of the saintly seven, blessed by the Holy One, and thus the goddess herself. But you wanted to stop it. You knew it was wrong. The heart that beats inside your chest is still human, is it not? Silence! You have no right to speak of what is in my heart. Alright, so Sarah Noah got deleted. Breaking news. Oh man, this is gonna be a rough fight. I don't know that we want to try and load the quick save. When was this? Two, four minutes ago. Let's see. See what we can do better. Sereno is already there. I don't really know. I feel like all we can really do is stop Lila for act from acting this turn. There's not much else really. So, I'm not sure if that's what we want to do or not. Maybe. Bloodshed. 
So, at this point, we can just poke, poke someone and then hide again. Just get a free attack in. I don't know how much that really does for us. Uh, not much, honestly, probably. So maybe, maybe let's wait. She's gonna have a little bit more TP. And hopefully at that point we can do something better. I'll just put her in this funny spot for now. Okay, Maxwell's asleep. And he's awake. Not really a better... I don't think there's a better strat to do here other than just smack these two guys. He gets a TP out of that, which is always nice. Okay. So that's a situation. Um, this guy, what are you gonna do? Can you get Saranoa? You also have Spinning Slash, don't you? Ah, oh, goddammit. We kinda need to take this guy out, but I feel like we'll have plenty of opportunities to do that. Or... Even Azana's spell might be enough for that, to be honest. So... Maybe we need to start softening some of these other guys up. How much can we delay you? Probably not much. Oh, no, never mind. 41. That's good. Um, now, the, the only thing that I'm concerned about is that this guy is going to come here and do Spinning Slash and Sereno is going to die. Um, I would not be a fan of that. However, if I could keep him here, it would be ideal because then I could heal. Um, all three of them with Medina. But after Medina, we're gonna get a turn for uh, for Gila right away, so maybe it's not necessary. I really don't know what to do. I, I, I probably need to get Saranoa out of there. Maybe I can put him in here. So, I'll probably do a Hawk Dive, or, or Delaying Strike, rather. Let's do Delaying Strike on this guy. Oh, he gets countered? Wow, okay. Oh my god. Do I have a quick save? I don't. Alright, well... We gotta think, gotta think of a better strat. I feel like sitting in a corner is not a bad strat. So we have 10 people. We can do like... One, two, three... Because we have a total of six. Um, 
a total of six melee characters and four ranged. So maybe if we could sit with the with the ranged characters here and then just kind of surround them with the melee in the corner, maybe we could get something done. Um man How's it going? I'm I'm I just retried because I lost Serenoa and I and I couldn't reload to the point where I don't lose him. So I'm trying to come up with a strategy. So let's let's just try. Mr. Lila. There is no I am I will end this. So funny spot for Anna. So it's come to blow. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Can probably throw a lance, some of these guys. You're buffed you up, so let's yourself. smack you. Forward. Okay. So, Serenoa. We kind of have to put him here. And he can do a hawk dive. So that's nice. Whatever it takes. Medina, let's put you here. Wait, she can use Swift Spice to do the thing. Wait, why am I not using this? This is a. This could be really good. Wait, what? I mean, she is probably going to be very busy with healing, so it doesn't matter that much, I reckon. Someone give an old man a hand. Anyway, Uncle, check this out. Archie now has Inescapable Arrow, which is a 12 tile range attack that can hit anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're behind an obstacle. Just doesn't matter. You can just hit anywhere. How cool is that? Isn't that badass? I think that's pretty badass. God damn it. He missed again. Okay. So let's put Julio here. And... Let's give him... Let's uh, do... The thing. Yeah. DP for Azana. So Gila probably can put her on this tile. Wait, this isn't... Am I... Am I like... Am I not thinking this through? I might be not thinking this through. Because we are gonna leave an opening here if that's what we're gonna do. Uh, shoot. Well, I mean, maybe it's fine. Because I was thinking I would put Eridor here. I fight for peace. But then if we... Yeah, we leave a, an opening. 
So, shoot, maybe we'll figure something out. Um, With the powers in me. Wait, maybe we could have... Could have we done a... Nah, we couldn't. It's five tiles, so we couldn't hit all of those guys in, a, in one line. My time is now. Alright, let's put you somewhere in the corner here and let's do Rite of Thunderstorms. I must put an end to this bloodshed! Time to work. She has full TP. Oh, she has de Deadly Blaze now. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad, but... Maybe against the boss it's gonna be pretty well. Um... We could potentially slumber stab or just throw poison. Victory is within reach. Damn, all of them are countering. It's so annoying. I'm ready to do what I must. Let me return the favor. I'll do my utmost. There are Noah's freaking asleep. Um, your movement is not very good, but it act oh, it has to act again. Um, Because what I'm thinking is maybe I want to move one tile back and then move one tile back with Eridor just so we close off this this area in the corner. Um, so let's, for now, just toss a pellet to Saranoa. Or Maxwell. Maxwell is blocked off a little bit, so maybe Saranoa, because he's gonna take another hit very, very soon, I reckon. Oh, great. Okay. Um... I mean, it might be a little bit of a crazy move, but what if we traverse? With a single blow! And then we stab these two guys. And then we move back into position. We basically get our TP back. Okay, so good th good news is that Saranoa has woken up. That's good. Um, let's not give away our position. So let's just hold. Okay. Sanctuary, perfect. Stay in, in place to get the turn quicker. Um, man, Julio is... I should park Frederica next to him, in all honesty, or, uh, I don't know.
Because this isn't exactly very optimal. What can you do, Maxwell? Is it worth giving TP to him? Maybe I'll save up for the time being. I'll just skip the turn with Julio. We could go forward and smack face. But we do not finish him. Which is, I mean, it's not really worth it at that point, is it? He would be finished by Azana's um, ultimate. But I'm not sure. I think he might get finished by Azana's ultimate either way. So maybe let's just skip. We'll get, we're going to get a turn with Julio sooner if we do this. Okay. So I think what I want to do now is maybe provoke all this squad. It's three people. 75%. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What's your movement, my guy? Five? Damn. Because part of me wants to do damage instead. And we could ram him. That's 100 damage. Man, I mean, it's not bad. In all honesty. You're in the way. So let's do that. And we will then place ourselves here. Here's Archie. Um, Archie, Archie, Archie. Could probably do an arrow spray. Eh, it's not. It's not very effective. So. Uh, maybe just do a regular attack then. Ninety three percent. Two seven four, two seven two. I mean, it's only two points of damage worth of difference, but let's do let's do more damage if we can do more damage. I guess we could have also. He's full TP, so we could also use the the cool twelve. Pile range thingy. I wonder what Lila is gonna do. I shall lead by example. I will okay, so she's she's staying. That's perfect. Like the more fools I can torch before she comes to beat me up, the better. Um. I really want, would like to stand here and do a pillars, but I don't have TP, so I'll have to do with Scorch. And we're probably gonna Scorch here, because I have fairly big confidence that Azana's Zap is gonna do 62 damage at the very least, hopefully. Maybe it's not gonna, at which point I'm gonna look like a fool, but... Anyway, uh, let's do this. Do the scorch first, and then let's move her closer to Julio. You cannot defy the goddess. It's too late to repent now. So it was indeed enough. We paralyzed some of their people in the back which will slow him down slow them down for one turn that is good uh, we now have Anna who is chilling um, we could potentially 
do a nice follow-up here to soften up this rogue right here and then just immediately hide after doesn't really seem like a bad plan however if she would if she's gonna stand here she's most likely gonna get discovered which wouldn't be wouldn't be the best wouldn't exactly be very peachy so let's see maybe what I'm gonna do is I'll stand here to see if I can prevent that rogue from moving this bowman rather and I'll kill one more turn with Anna get some TP I shall lead by example looks like that worked whatever it takes okay so Medina um, she needs to throw Saranoa a pellet to give him a little bit of TP. Um, why not double items, in all honesty? I see no reason why not double items. So we can throw a small to Saranoa. Here you go. I'm here to help. And then we could probably throw a large to Erador, or a small enough. Maybe let's give him large. Here you go. Why not? And we could potentially stand here and give more... Nah, not really does anything. Just exposes Erador to more potential attackers, honestly, so maybe it's good. Let's stay there. Impressed? Impressed? Whatever it takes. Okay. Since... Since we are kind of focusing on AoE spells at the moment, I think it's better to give Frederica uh, some TP as opposed to Azana. Let's do this. Thank you. So let's, let's do that. And we will just keep holding the position. Um, I think delaying strike might be a little useless, uh, because Erador, if I just do a regular attack, Erador will for sure be able to finish him. However, um, I don't know what this rogue is gonna do. So, I'm not sure, I think it's fine to just attack this guy. Maybe, yeah. To leave, Should be good. Must grow. Nice. Back at you. I shall protect you. Okay, Saranoa is sweating right now. Uh, we do have a turn for Gila right after this, so that's perfect. Um, as for Maxwell... We could take this guy out. We could potentially take this guy out. Right? <sighs> 104, this is 172. Lance Hurl is now gonna go through Saranoa. Um. Because I'm thinking, we could do some weird stuff by using Traverse, but then we lose one TP just for using it. Um, I don't know, man. I think we kind of have to... Um, look, if we hit this guy, we probably are going to soften him to the point where Frederica maybe will finish him with the well-placed Scorch. 
We still don't know what this guy is going to do and this guy. They're kind of dangerous and scary a little bit. And we're not going to have a turn for a while after we do this and then Gila until Archie. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we're going to have Anna, but Anna is, well, she might be able to do something cool. Man. What a dilemma. Because that guy is not really a danger because he's at... He's not going to do his turn for a bit longer. Uh, so annoying. What can you do? You can do spinning slash. Oh, that's so annoying. It's very annoying. Because my logic kind of was that if I don't kill these guys, then Saranoa's access to Saranoa is going to be blocked in a way, if you know what I mean. Uh, but this guy can do Spinning Slash, which he's probably going to come here and, and do it against all three of these. So, I don't know. Lance Hurl, uh, this guy at 24, I think. God damn it. I shall do what I can. So, I feel like we either just heal Saranoa or we drop a Sanctuary on both of them. It says that both Maxwell and Saranoa get healed. I think maybe that's a better play. Saranoa is not gonna be in that much danger. Uh, and Medina can come in clutch, I think, if anything. So maybe we're fine. Hopefully. Now I'll see this battle through. Let's see. Yep. Oh, that wasn't that guy. So this other guy. Ooh, Maxwell, so dead. Holy crap. Um, so... <laughs> so it's a little bit annoying because this freaking Bowman is very... is gonna, is gonna give me a lot of... headache. I feel like we need to do is maybe hmm it's a shield bearer not gonna be able to do anything necessarily um, there is a mage coming in and that is gonna be freaking terrible 195 power. God damn. One fifty two. That's a lot of health still. Frederica is gonna do a thing. Uh, Maxwell's gonna be able to do a thing. I feel like we need to in tandem and give Gila a turn so we can get more heals because we're not gonna be able to sustain ourselves like this. 
But for now, I think we're gonna come in here. Um, maybe poison? We do have 3 TP, so we can afford to throw poison. And then... Um, hide. Let's take cover. And hopefully we'll survive. So this is a situation, we can do arrow spray against all of them. What's that gonna be? It's gonna be around 50-ish damage to all of them, 150 damage total. That's probably better than anything else we can do, right? Regular attacks against these guys is gonna do like 70, so if we can do 150 combined, I think that's pretty good. Fifty-three each. Not bad. You've done it now. Medina got delayed. I will end this. She's seventeen. Oh man. Uh, here's the thing though. Azana's gonna go and she has nothing to do. Right? So and also, wait, here's the thing, right? We have, we have Frederica now. Wait, um, we don't need to move with Frederica necessarily. We can just drop a Scorch here. Okay, so yeah, we, we kind of clap these guys though. So the guy that's moving at 11 is not going to do anything. However, we have an Archer. Who's gonna do something and he might ruin my day um, so we should <sighs> we should yeah there's no point in killing this guy now Serenoa is gonna have a spinning slash we might as well just make the best out of our scorch and hit three people right now With the powers in me. that's the best we can hope for i think the heavens judge you. so azana cannot do much so we're just gonna have her heal with a maybe large ranged yeah she can do a pretty good job here she's not medina but we can't really be picky right now To blow. Okay, she's coming. I've been waiting for this. She is. She is coming in. All right. We're just gonna probably ram this guy away. One, two, three, four, five. We could ram you into Lila. That would be kind of, kind of badass. <laughs> Um, not really worth it though. This is gonna do 100 damage. That's solid. Yeah. You're in the way. Smack you, and we are gonna come back into in the position. Why are the archers not doing anything? Oh, they buffed themselves up. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so we could give TP. We could also attack. Nah, we need to give TP to, to Frederica. Because Frederica is going to do way more damage than Julio. So it's not worth it. This is possible. I can do it. Here comes the sweeping. Ah. Oh, that's good. Haha. Uh -huh. 
Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Okay. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right, so traverse on the loot. With a single blow. Yes. Then Gung near. It ends here. Boom. Go back to your spot. Ah, we're cooking. So Please survive. Oh my god. Maybe next. Ah, oh, great. All right, so look, my instinct right now is to um is to stop Lila. However, I want to wait and see. I want to see what she's going to do. And if she, like, decimates half of my force with one turn, at that point, I think we'll we'll just quick load and stop her. So that we can win some time. Um, is it worth... Taking this guy out before, before his turn? I think so. I think yes. Um, so let's do that. Anna's not going to be able to hide after that, which is a problem. However, I don't know what else we can do. And if we heal Saranoa with Medina, Gila can then heal, heal Anna, right? And with Anna's, with Gila's heals, maybe she'll survive. What we could also do, actually, is we could throw poison... It's gonna left with 36. Is that gonna be enough for Poison to finish him? Because if we do that, what we can do instead is hit you. You're poisoned. Uh, and what we do is we just move Anna to a safer spot. Right? I don't know, maybe we could even move her, like, I don't know, some ridiculous place. Man, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe here is good? I'll do my utmost. We don't have double items, unfortunately. But we can top off Maxwell. Oh, it wasn't Sir, no, it was Maxwell. Yeah, okay, never mind. So we can top off Maxwell with an extra large, I think. And then... Gila is gonna heal... Um, Anna, I guess. Here you go. I'll see this battle through. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me, thank you. He didn't die. Oh, if oh, okay, we can actually reach him with the normal shot. No, we can't. All right, we can't let you get away, my guy. <laughs> it's a little bit of a overkill, but I'm happy to do it. Slick. Um, okay. So Alright, let's see what she's gonna do. He's not doing anything! What? Oh! Why is she not doing anything? She's crazy. Okay, well, at that point, we might as well just blazing chains. Um. We probably can take out this guy, right? Azana's gonna have to stand on this tile in order to hit him. But if we do that, we can take this archer down. I hope so. Stay right there! 
Or we just move Frederica here and then put Azana where Frederica was. And I guess, well, man, I don't know. I kind of want to keep uh, Frederica here says that she can continue get getting stuff from Julio. Ouch. So if we go here, right off the... Yeah, he's gone. Man is gone. Um... Wait, no? Is he at a 1 HP? I'll take you on. Oh my god, he's at 1 HP. Wait, how did you get in here? What? <laughs> how did the how did this man get in here? What the heck? Was that a trample? How did he do this? Bizarre. I, I wasn't really watching closely. Alright, so Eridor, he needs to hold the position. So we will use extra extra large on Medina. To spend our turn. Oh, they can move diagonally? Ooh, okay. So... That's bizarre. I never I never realized they can do that. Can they really move diagonally? That's crazy. Anyway. We have to figure something out here. Let's check our Let's check our quick save. Very well. It's Azana's turn. Okay, so because Azana wasn't really able to kill this guy, maybe at that point it doesn't really matter. And if they can move diagonally, maybe we will plug this tile with Azana instead. Right? And... Man, part of me wants to save up for another Rite of Thunderstorms. But... I don't know. Go for that. Okay, he's paralyzed. Come at me. So let's still do the same thing here. Extra large it's for Medina. Fine. This guy's gonna shoot me. Ow. Time to take action. We can do this. Thank you. From where shall we strike? From above. I shall lead my example. Okay. Who's she hitting? Eridor and Saranoa. Time to work. So we could fight. and take this guy down before he can do much. However, she will be exposed to some archers here and Lila. I have faith in Anna that she is gonna survive. Alternatively, she could go and help me heal everyone. Medina's gonna get a turn. Um... However, 
However, yeah, Medina's gonna get a turn and she's gonna have double items too. And we can do some crazy stuff with her, with the large... With the large heals, right? We can even give a point to, like a TP to Gila by healing like here. Doing it like an AoE heal here, right? Or this corner. And at that point... Uh, Gila is gonna be able to do Sanctuary as well. So let's try and deal with this guy, I guess. There is a little bit of a gamble. It's only 86% for a follow-up to happen from... Well, for a follow-up to hit uh, from Medina. Which we kind of... I mean... We have two, cho two chances, so... If she misses one, it's fine. If she misses both, that would be horrible, but that's very unlikely to happen, right? Yeah, we good. Cool. Ow. I shan't hold back. So I'm gonna do some some wacky stuff with Maxwell again. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me see. We could traverse on the loot, then like stab maybe this guy, and then go back. All by my design. Going near your face, and then we just move back. That's gonna hurt. Whatever it takes. Okay. Double items. Range large is what we need here. And if we drop it here, that's gonna be a TP for Gila as well. Right? That's very nice. Here you go. And now we another large range on this tile. Yep. Here you go. Oh my god, Medina is cracked, dude. She's insane. <laughs> she just healed the entire party with one turn. Let me heal your wounds. Okay, so we have that TP, that extra TP for Gila. So we could do Sanctuary, but we really don't need to, I think. Uh, let's just heal Azana. Archie's getting a little sweaty, too. Um... So... This mage is a waste of time, in all honesty, because he's gonna go back. At which point he's gonna get healed, and then he's gonna come back again when he has 3 TP. Because he's not gonna stay here. So it's kind of a waste to try and bop him. How's it going? I don't know, man. It's a little sweaty. It's a little sweaty in here, but we're uh, we're we're trying. Maybe let's try and focus on this guy. He's a little closer. We can hit him with Azana. We can hit him with Frederica. We can hit him with Maxwell, for God's sake. So maybe we can take this guy out. Now the problem is that some other healers, <laughs> other healers, some other um, archers are gonna take their turns, and they could shoot this guy potentially. They could shoot Archie, but Medina's gonna go first, so maybe we'll whip something up. I fight for peace. Um, we could blazing chains. 
I don't really see a better alternative. If we move here, we could do Scorch. Which might be a better alternative. Is that a better alternative? That would move her away from Julio, though. We want to keep her next to Julio. Although Julio will actually have 3 TP. At which point he can do a uh, wireless TP transfer, if you will. <laughs> uh, we could also try and Pepega Sunfall somewhere. Um, I don't really trust it to do much. And it doesn't even do that much damage, honestly, so... Mm. You know what, for the sake of trying to focus this guy down, let's just do Blazing Chains. We're gonna take him down, and that's gonna be a W for us. My time is now. So Azana, Bride of Lightning, yep, and he's with 21 HP. That is pretty crazy. Raise their luck of all allies for three turns. Wait, what? Wait, that's crazy. That's pretty cool, no? I didn't even know she had this. <laughs> I was like, oh, she got right of luck. Ah, it's whatever. It's, it's only one TP. How good can it be? That's actually pretty good, isn't it? More crits? I should consider using that. But for now, we want to do damage to this guy. All right, what are you gonna do? You're not but a okay. I'll take it from here. Okay, she took out Anna in one hit. Look, just because uh, Frederica is gonna get, she's gonna get a turn. Well, she's gonna she's gonna have two TP next turn, is what I mean. I'm gonna give TP to Azana this time. I will do what I this, will this will allow her to cast spells for two turns. For the greater good. And, in all honesty, now if we just do a range, another ranged large. We're gonna give TP to everyone. So, Azana's actually gonna have 4 TP on her next turn. Here you go. I shall protect you. Alright, so I'm just gonna clown on this guy a little bit. Wait, why did I do that? I could have... I could have gone on the loot. It's okay. I'm gonna clown on this guy instead. It ends here. <laughs> Ouch. Let me heal your wounds. I guess this might be that point where we need Sanctuary. Um, maybe, yeah, I guess let's go with Sanctuary. I'm behind you. My growth is plain to see. Someone give an old man a hand. How much damage can we do to... 100? That's kind of wild. Such a strong attack. 154. What if we sat him here? Two hundred. 
Is there any chance we can take this guy out before his turn? We're gonna have Azana. Azana could potentially uh, paralyze him. Because it would be good, because this guy's gonna like cast a spell on me next turn, and that would be bad. That would hurt. Maybe that's a little too brave. But I mean, at this point, what can we do, really? We could do pillars as well. Doesn't really do much. It's only 60 something, 65, 67 damage. If I go here with Frederica. She's not really going to be in that much danger. Um, you're going to be able to cast your slow garbage, right? Slow is very powerful. I have a feeling we might have to load. Um, because... I feel like there's no way... Lila is not gonna use slow on Saranoa. And if that happens, Saranoa is dead. So I'm predicting that that's gonna be the outcome. Hmm. upon the Roselle. No more. What I did, I did as one of the saintly seven, blessed by the Holy One, and thus the goddess herself. But you wanted to stop it. You knew it was wrong. The heart that beats inside your chest is still human, is it not? Silence! You have no right to speak of what is in my heart. So it's come to okay. Blows. Yep. Huh? Oh, delayed casting. My time is now. Wait, what? Deal proportionate non-elemental magic damage to a target enemy and adjacent enemies after the target completes two turns. That's disgusting. However. Ooh, 21% chance of paralysis. Wouldn't that be just insane? Wouldn't that be the craziest thing? But we kind of have to try and take this guy for now. Stay down. This is oh, yes, we got paralysis. That's good. Let's pick up the loot. Time to take action. <sighs> and I don't know, man, at this point, maybe we're going to start moving a little bit. There's not that many enemies left. There's two healers, two archers, two mages. So I feel like we kind of have a fighting chance if we take the initiative, you know? Both Azana and Frederica will have enough TP for a spell. Uh, so maybe we're just gonna go beat this guy. That other mage is not gonna do anything, which is perfect. So maybe we're... Whatever it takes. Maybe we're gonna be okay. Let's throw... A large pellet to Saranoa here. Here you go. Eyes are turning. Hmm. 
Okay, you're just gonna buff up. I love that. Let's do our free movement here. All by my design. We could run through. This will give us our TP back. And let's go and pick up the loot here, I think. That's what we need to do. I shall do what I can. Everyone's pretty healthy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take initiative now. These archers are buffing up, they're not doing anything, they're kind of crazy. Um, they stand in a freaking ideal Scorch situation. That's kind of crazy that they would do that. We're gonna come in here, arrow spray. My time is now. Azana. We need to... Do, 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 do. We need to zap the guy on the water. Obviously. Stay down. Ooh, we managed to paralyze the... The what? The... The healer? Is that a healer? That's the other Whatever healer, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I feel like we need to give TP to Frederica so that she can do something next turn. This is far from over. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'll move here. Count on me. Serano is gonna get a turn and he's gonna explode. So we're gonna put him here, probably, or something, or here, I don't know, somewhere and do a hawk dive and then trigger a follow-up from Julio and hopefully that's gonna be enough to soften this guy up sufficiently. Um, Medina has no one to really heal but she can throw a small pellet to Azana to help her TP. Here you go. Situation. Uh, if we stand, I'm, I want to stand in in as awkward a position as possible to not really like try and uh, provoke Lila's temporal thing. Not that she can do it. Is not an option. So I'm hoping very hard that. <laughs> <laughs> that Serena is gonna survive this, and whatever is Lila gonna do on her next turn. It's not quite enough, unfortunately, but we still have Erador, so we might be okay. Death from above! Now's my chance! I will follow you faithfully till the end. Alright, so Serena is gonna explode now. Oh my god, 200. So it's come to blows. Is she gonna finish him? I yep. I no. Look, I don't know what we can do about that. Honestly, we might have to do just live with that. Uh, she just stood in a way for a ram. Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, what are your things? You have refresh that you can do with 2 TP. Well, that's fine. What can you do? Out of my way. I shall do what I can. That's okay. Um this is a good position. 
Be at ease. I am gracious. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. I want to stand here. Oh, I want to stand here so bad. We could also do a double attack on these guys, but no, we need to we need to try and focus down Lila. Now that we have the opportunity. She's at 0 TP and we're just going to destroy her while we can. So, let's Yeah. A single blow. She took Serenoa away from us. We're going to we're going to make her pay for that. Let me show you what I've learned. Okay, so she... She's protected by this guy. I'm oh, a clever bastard. So I can't exactly put anyone... Um, to block her from escaping. Which is annoying. Ah, what can you do? Hey, why not... Why not do... Oh, we cannot do pillars. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. So it's fine. Um, just scorch is okay. I think. Blame, heed my call. We will make our ideals reality. So this is my fate, or is it divine retribution? I gain new powers. Oh, you're getting TP. Oh, are you sure? Um, what if we move... Let's find a clever spot. Uh, what if we move here? Ooh, that edged arrow is so strong. Yeah, let's go for that. I think let's go for that. Ride of Lightning. In fear. Whatever it takes. I want to throw a pellet to Archie. Okay, delayed casting on Maxwell. That's not a big deal, in all honesty. Um, let's just take her out while we can. Who's gonna go next? The Archer? The Archer's not gonna kill anyone, I think. Unless he finds a very cool freaking uh, follow-up. Strat. Can we take you out? No. Well, we can get pretty damn close. On my honor as the dawn spear. All right, so Eridor is gonna finish Lila. Um, there's no point for us to. really go crazy now. How much does this do? Run through. Run through is way better. Maybe I'll do run through. Your final moments of purpose. Cool heads shall prevail. How do I turn my back? Anyway. Oh shoot. Ah oh, no. If I go here I'll be able to reach Medina. There we go. And bye bye Lila. See you later. Oh goddess. You have never smiled upon me. I wished to see him just once more. Too bad.
Oof. I will end this. Ooh, that's that's kind of rough actually, cause because um, he's gonna explode after the next turn. Uh, Medina can probably save him though. Um, all right, Frederica can't do anything, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's maybe go bully the healer or whatnot. I don't know. Yeah, I'll bully the healer. Behold, true power. Um, if we stand here, we could do. No, actually, if we stand here, we're gonna be able to hit all of them with the wind spell. That's cool. Someone give an old man a hand. Um, arrow spray. Oh, that's dope. First things first. I'll do my utmost. All right, so can we save this guy from perishing with an extra large? We probably can. Here you go. I'll see this battle through. Whatever it takes. Um. We gotta get closer to the girls again and give them some TP. You got this. I shall use it well. I shall protect you. Okay. Maybe what I'm gonna do is I'll just go near. And then go stand on a on a safe spot far away, and explode. And now he's safe. Not that it really matters that much, but it's fine. I feel blessed. You won't beat me. All right. Well, I think I think we did well. Look at me learning. I think we did pretty well. This was a little bit of a tricky fight, but with safe strats, we managed to do pretty well. Heed my call. My time is now. So take the archer out. Annoying. New power overflows within me. Hey, I want that loot. Oh, that's that's gonna take him out, and I won't get to loot then. Can't have that. You enjoy pain? Yes. There we Whatever go. It takes. Perfect. And here it is, I think. Unless Azana misses. One more. Nope. We lost Anna and Serenoa, but. I feel like we did good. Minister Lila had the key to the laboratory. We found the Elfric within. And documents detailing its use. We know how to trigger it now. Then we can destroy both the statue of the goddess and the ships that it give chase. My people suffered so this Elfric could be created. For their sake, we cannot fail. We shan't. I think even Minister Lila, in her heart of hearts, had prayed for our success. So she understood the injustice of it all and sought to aid us. What makes you think that? I imagine circumstances prevented her from acts of outright defiance. Perhaps the Saintly Seven are not so free to act according to their own principles. If that's the case... 
than the so-called equality under the goddess that Hyzant loved to espouse. It's nothing but hypocrisy. Indeed. There is nothing righteous about a faith that preaches appropriating a person's very death. Let us to the source. The goddess's oppression has gone on long enough. They haven't added more soldiers to the ramparts, meaning they haven't noticed us yet. Claris has them nice and distracted for us. But I don't think we can stay hidden for this next bit. No, the source is heavily guarded inside. Sneaking in to quietly foment rebellion is not an option. We must defeat the guards and convince the Rizal to rise up in a very short amount of time. Before reinforcements arrive to put us down. Frederica, everything rests on your ability to sway them to our side. My lady, you're quivering. I know what I will say, what I will do. Whether I will succeed, however, I do not know. And not knowing frightens me. I hate that I'm such a coward, when my mother was so brave. There isn't a person in the world who doesn't fear the future. Not your mother, not the Rosellen, not I. Being brave isn't about being fearless. It's about acting regardless of how terrified you are. We are here because we refuse to let fear rule us. Remember, Frederica, you are not alone. We will see this through together. I needed to hear that, Sheila. Mother, please guide us. Guide me. Saranoa, I am ready. I can do this. I know you can. Come then. The source awaits. Wow, that was easy. Defeating Lila and securing the Elfric, Serenoa and his retinue make for the source to free the Roselle. Meanwhile, Hyzantian forces commanded by Exham arrive at Castle Wolfort's doorstep, intent on claiming the salt crystal deposits. All right, that was also happening. Refusing to hand over the salt, House Wolfort has barricaded themselves inside with hundreds of soldiers. Their outright defiance makes Exham cautious, suspecting some sort of trap. He opts to surround the castle and prepares for an extended siege. But the Wolf Fort soldiers don't move an inch. Patience worn thin, Exham orders an attack. His soldiers swarm into the castle. Hold fast to courage. Okay. There's no one here. What is the meaning of this? Our scouts didn't see enemy soldiers. Only straw dolls. <laughs> Minister Exham, the castle is empty. <laughs> they must have abandoned the castle, told their people to flee. Damn. They twisted our vigilance against us to buy themselves time. But where have they gone to? I cannot say. What are you scheming, Wolfort? <laughs> well, seize the castle in any case. This domain belongs to Hyzant now. Sir.
after routing Exham with his strange strategy and seeing Wolffort's people safely to Glenbrook's crown city, Benedict disappears. His actions draw Hysan's full attention entirely to the Wolffort domain, making it easy for Sarah Noah and his retinue to slip into the source. But whether they can convince the Roselle to rebel depends entirely on Frederica. Which way the winds of fate will blow is anyone's guess. It's okay. We gotta believe in wife. My name is Frederica S. Frost, daughter of Orlea, the woman who led the Source Rebellion 30 years ago. With me is Lord Saranoa of House Wolfort, my husband. We have come to liberate you, but we cannot do it without your help. We need you to take a stand and fight by our side. Husband? It's true then? What they say? That you accepted a Roselin as one of your own? Yes. Frederica is my wife. House Wolfort pledges itself to the Roselle's defense. Let us leave this wretched place far behind us. Leave Hyzant? No. We'd only be throwing ourselves upon the soldiers' swords. Our ancestors stained us with sin the moment they tried to hoard salt for themselves. The goddess will never absolve us unless we dedicate our lives serving her here. Don't keep us from our atonement. It's not like there's anywhere for us to go, even if we fled. There is. My mother told me of the Rosellin homeland. A place Far, far to the south, surrounded by a vast expanse of salt water. Centralia. Everything's already in place for your escape. All that we need to succeed is for you to trust us. Centralia. A vast expanse of salt water. It's... it's just a myth. You can't expect us to believe it's real. I knew Lady Olea. You... you do bear her likeness. I... Uh, she too insisted the Holy State's teachings were a lie. That we must break the chains the false goddess bound us with and seek Centralia. Those words sparked rebellion. But only a handful of us managed to escape in the end. Took a bit of the goddess's statue with him. That's all. I was a child at the time, so I don't remember it that well. Still, I doubt you lot will accomplish much more than she did. I understand your hesitation, but nothing will change if we do not take a stand. Do you really want our people to be trapped here, forever? Of course not, but... We fear what Hyzant will do to us. No one can defy the Goddess. That's what they have always taught us. <sighs> I understand. It isn't easy to act against generations of oppression and terror. Then we destroy the very thing that represents all they fear. The statue of the goddess. Show them she can be defeated. Best do it soon. I doubt we have much time until Hyzant realizes we're here. None of you move. Wow, Baldy Man is here. Oh, we're gonna have to fight the Baldy. All right. Well, 
I mean, it's recommended level 31. I don't know if we're gonna be able to... to tackle this now. Most of our gang is at 28, 27-ish. Some are at 29. So... We might have to keep this for next time. I know that's gonna be... Cutting the stream a little short, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and do our administrative stuff. Let's upgrade. Uh, and I mean, maybe we can do one mock battle. All right, we got a promotion. Um, I feel like we got the ones that are really the most important. At this point, it's kind of like anyone's game. Uh, I'm liking the idea of promoting Medina, to be honest. What is Lady Luck? Chance to obtain a bonus recovery pellet when picking up spoils. Well, that's not too bad. <laughs> um, yeah? I really started liking Medina lately. I think she's fun. Archie might be nice too. We don't know what this is. Level 33. Um... It's a tough choice. Anna? Increases damage dealt while taking cover. Not too bad. She does have get a point of strength. Evasion is off the charts. Yeah, I mean... There's a lot of compelling options. But I feel that now that we're loaded on money... And we can afford um, a lot of consumables. Maybe Medina isn't that bad of a choice, since I feel like there's no reason to not bring her, because she's so good. She's really, really good. She gets mad stats, too. Luck goes from 22 to 29. Strength, 2 points. And she gets a pink outfit. I mean, it's kind of hard to argue against that. Yeah, I think let's go with Medina. I hear the cries of those in need. Um, let's see. If we have anything in the sundry, nothing new. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So let's see if we can upgrade our weapons then. What about Medina herself? Because she's still carrying a freaking kitchen knife. <laughs> Ah, oh, we need silver and diamond. Man, imagine... Imagine what she could do if she had the up upgrades. She'd be even cooler, right? And silver and blah blah blah, you can only get from here, right? We don't have any. God damn it. You're not selling those kinds of ingredients, are you? No. You can get superior materials from you, but not much more. That's a bummer. Well, it is what it is. Uh, let's just go and see if we can do this. Minecart tactics. <laughs> 
Pursue and defeat the fleeing enemy general before the time runs out. Pay attention to the movements of the other enemies to avoid counterattacks. Ah, oh, this... This seems... Like a pain in the neck. <laughs> in all honesty, this just feels like a pain in the neck. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see what this is about. Show me the overview. Minecarts, yep. Okay. All all of this we know already. Yep. Okay, so that's about it. Defeat the enemy commander within 100 turns. Is what they want me to do. That's the enemy commander. Level 32, Giga Chad. Three hundred sixteen. All or nothing. Oh man. Oh, and he's gonna he's going first. Of course he's going first. I really dislike uh, how it gives these like I mean it's kind of cool that you that it's not just like oh defeat all enemies, bruh. but like at the same time, like you just want to grind up some levels, man. You just want to like level up your characters. I wish it wasn't that complicated. <laughs> You know? Oh, there's more people here. It's kind of crazy, though. Isn't that, like... Kind of ridiculous? To split everyone like that? There's so many enemies. And they're not weak enemies, either. I don't know. Anna, Erador, Julio, Medina, Huet. Kind of feel like Huet is. It, she might be quintessential for this. And maybe we could have her in the main squad here. We could have Anna in the back. Like, totally. What if we give you Vanguard Scarf? Is she gonna be the number one? Yeah. And maybe we could try and immobilize you. You don't have any, like, weird immunities, right? Yeah. So maybe we can try and immobilize this guy. Um. Honestly, Anna can, can go solo. Where is Julio? Julio is over on this side. Which is good. Maybe let's bring over Frederica. Something like that.
Here I come. Twenty two per cent only. Ay, ay, ay. Not another step. Of course. Yeah. So he just he just bails. Um I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. <laughs> Where's the guy now? He is here. So much BS that you need to deal with. What if we... If you stand here... One, two, three, four, five... It's a little bit of a cheeky strat. If we traverse... Look carefully. We can then throw a lance. You can't save yourself! And then we can move to a safe spot. is not an option. How did the other battle go? We won. Uh, we won. I think uh, it was a pretty good strategy. We're already done. We're doing now a mock battle because we're we caught up with the uh, with the story and we have the next battle already lined up for us. Uh, so there's not much else we can do. So I'm just trying to do one mock battle before we end stream. Whatever it takes. Uh I upgraded Medina to to elite class. She's now medicine master. Man, there's so many of them here. I really don't know what's the best course of action, because, like, we cannot just take the cart uh, over to this side, because there's so many enemies. If we send one person, they're gonna get murdered. They're gonna get, like, utterly decimated. You know? So it's really hard to... Hard to see what's the optimal strat. Yeah. Whatever it takes.
Maybe we can zap all of them with Azana again. You've got this. This will not be taken for granted. You won't beat me. Julio's standing on the freaking rail. Man, imagine if you could shield bash someone into the pit. That would be kind of cool. You're in the way. Shall we begin? Yeah, these mock battles are getting crazier and crazier, and I feel like playing them on hard difficulty doesn't do me any favors either. Kind of insane. Stay right there. My time is now. Ride of thunderstorms, I guess. <laughs> Always a good time. I must put an end to this bloodshed. Here I come. Obliged. Could send Medina over here. I don't know if that's really necessary though. I think she needs to stay with the gang. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. We do any funky moves? Cannot jump behind him, unfortunately. Yeah, this is really hard. It's uh, 86 turns left and we haven't touched the guy. Well, we did, but doesn't really count. Okay, so here's the big guy. I wonder if he's uh, coming to fight here. Because if he is, um, we might be able to do something about it. Maybe let's try and bait him 
by putting Julio here. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. Thank you. You won't beat me. Anna is getting bopped a little bit. Man, why can't you why can't you ram him into the hole? That's such a missed opportunity. Would be cool if you could do that. Ah, well. cannot stand by here either. Oh man, so that means we can only push him up to here? Is that right? Ugh. It's so bad. Uh, man, this is annoying. Um, I feel like maybe what I'm gonna try and do is I will not linger around here for too long. Come on! And I'll just prepare to move over to the other side. I, maybe. Man, maybe I should have called a cart instead. I fight for peace. Now that I think about it. Alright. Let's. Burn you for a bit. Okay, here it is. The hunt is on. Oh, Hewett is in the house. Hmm, maybe there's no need to really mess around with that guy. He's paralyzed anyway. So maybe what we can try and do is help the guys here by trying to blind this guy. Darkness and go oh, well. that hit the mark. I will fight to my last breath. And from that point maybe we can go here. Or or here. And we're then we'll be able to do whatever we want next turn. I need a healer. Yeah, Anna is uh, <laughs> Anna's in a bit of a situation here. Um so, I'm gonna risk it. I'll go here. Um, dagger. And then we're gonna take cover. Okay. We provoked him into coming here. Okay, now the problem is that we can't really uh, take full advantage of that. What if we traverse from here? All by my design. Yes. And then let's just try and do what we can. He is buffed up, so we're not gonna do that much damage to him this turn. But... Just as I my chance. It is what it is. Whatever it takes. Okay. So here goes Medina. The MVP. Here you Much go. Obliged. Hope Julio is gonna go before Azana. Yes, Forward. he is. That's good. Um, man, Sarah Noah is blocked off. Ugh, it's so annoying. He could take the card, but he would get insta murdered if he went here. Yeah. 
So maybe... Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. If we, if we go here, we could do like a little follow-up dance with Eridor. Just something. Okay, so Julio, we need you to give TP. Oh man, they're both without TP. That's tragic. I'm gonna say maybe to Azana, though. I'll hold fast this here. Will not be taken for granted. It's a little bit of a shame that we have to spend the turn like this. I will end this. Yeah. Okay, we can at least finish off. Have another. Phew, okay. I was worried for a second that that wouldn't happen. Here I come. So the boys here kind of need help, but we have this guy kind of in our clutches now. So it would be a little bit of a waste if we didn't take advantage of it, I think. And if we could blind him, it would be perfect. Darkness engulfs you. Yes, we did it. Well met. That went well. The problem is that there's a whole bunch of people coming to get us, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Cool heads shall prevail. For one and all. That's the stuff. Judge you. If we could make our lives a little bit easier by getting rid of some of these suckers, it would be nice, but oh man. So tough. Triangle stress while eating my triangle sandwich, my favorite time of the week. Hi puppy, welcome. Welcome back. Oh wow, I didn't realize that lightning spells spread through the 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 rails. Do you see that? That's awesome. I didn't realize that that's how it worked. Look, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. You know? We need to go. Ah, maybe here. Anna is in danger. For my kith and kin. Oh, let me return the favor. Let me return the favor. Okay. Press. This is uh yeah, this is gonna become a whatever it takes. Cluster truck. <sighs> I don't know what we can do. I don't know why I moved. Time to take action. Leave it to me. I will follow you faithfully till the end. When a wolf is cornered.
So I don't know, it's probably gonna die. Yeah. This went horribly. It wasn't good enough. Yeah. It's for life. Into the shadows. But it's okay, we were gonna get at least a couple levels. I thought I had for some people. It's something. Uh, yeah, Gila is in danger. We mustn't let our guard down. Focus. Not another step. My time is now. Is this a mock battle? Yes. This is a mock battle. We already did the main battle of today. So I'm just doing this because we still have a little bit of time left. The heavens rain. And it's ridiculous. Like these mock battles are getting more and more ridiculous. It's kind of insane. Like good grief. It's absolutely crazy what they expect me to do. And like on hard difficulty, they just seem straight up impossible most of the time. Rain, heed my call. It's no use. I'll take you on. So, our goal is to take this guy out before the time limit, and maybe we'll, like, barely scrape it by, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Oh, they pushed Gila down? That's annoying. Like, look at how many of them there are. It's kind of... Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, have double items, so maybe uh, is it worth spending my items like that? Here you go. Maybe. Is a regular large enough? Maybe it's enough. Go, I hope. Stated. Copium. Uh, there's not much we can do, right? We could surmount. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah, let's just go and, and pick up the spoils here, I think. Strike while the iron's hot. Okay, so here's our guy. Wait, we cannot even reach him now! Because we got pushed! Oh no! All right. Well, we gotta give TP to Azana then. I will do what I can. I can feel it. And just hold the four, Julio. Just hold it. <laughs> Buy our door. I shall do what I can. Gila can heal. I mean, that might be the last thing she does. Your wounds are good. I needed that. The truth. Time to take flight. But that was the last thing she did.
Let's let's try and refresh the blind on this guy. From this range, my pride is my shield. I fight for peace. Okay, so both both Frederica and Azana had they have turns. So let's see if we can finish this. Pillars. Insane. Oh, we got this actually. We can win this. We will make our right. Actually cracked. <laughs> Heavens judge you. And boom. Wait, just to kind of rub it in. Just to kind of rub it in. Let's do right of wind. Again, again, six enemies. Isn't that crazy? Give me the kudos. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we we pulled through, but like this is insane, isn't it? Like the the mock battles get so crazy, it's stupid. You really like gotta gotta try hard. And like just struggle. <laughs> hey Brian, how you doing? Um any any upgrades? What do we got? Sir Noah. We did get some money. Um let's see. Yeah, so I chose to to give another like tile of range to Archibald instead of unlocking his ultimate because I just don't see his ultimate being that good. It's probably like very strong and it probably does a lot of damage but the fact that you need to charge it for one turn and it's just a straight line it just makes it kind of situational I think. So I felt that giving him plus one range is probably a better idea and would give me like more value immediately right away, you know? Um, oh, Papi, you missed it, but uh, we upgraded Medina. Medina is now a third class. However, she still has her kitchen knife, and her weapon is still <laughs> rank one, <laughs> which is tragic. I don't know. I need silver. I, how, how do I get silver? I need silver. Please give me silver. Please restock. Sundry shop. It's ridiculous. But yeah, but Medina was MVP during our fight during our fight in, uh, in the ministry. It was it was beautiful. She was able to like heal the entire team in one turn with double items and using the Do any mock battles have silver as a reward? Not not the ones that I have unlocked, I don't think. It only gives like regular like upgrade materials, not the ones that you use to upgrade weapon ranks. Just like, you know. Maybe some later down the line will have it. I don't know. Um but yeah, let's uh let's see. Weapon damage up for Archie. I think that's a good, that's a good upgrade. Can't really knock that. Movements, criticals, HP, accuracy, critical hits. No, why not? What does Asana have? Blah 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 blah. CP cost. These are good upgrades. A little pricey though. Erador. Physical defense. 
It's not exactly a bad thing to have. Someone like Eridor. And let's see... Lionel, I'm not exactly super interested. Narv, same thing. Hazana... Yeah, I mean, we could give her... I feel like I'm not utilizing the... The... The thing, the right... Right of Tempest and Right of Rain, as much as I should. Hmm... What was it again? Uh, Asana... Raid of Tempest... What's better? I'm gonna buy... Materials to upgrade one of them. Maybe Raid of Rain? It's kinda random, but it's kinda fun. Rite of Tempest synergizes with Archie, so maybe it's not a bad idea either. Mm, maybe let's go for Rite of Tempest. Five Timber and two Stone. Five quality Timber, right? And two quality Stone. Not bad. Um, not really sure what else we could go for. We could buy the superior materials and unlock like Flanagan's ultimate if we really wanted to. <sighs> Five each. It's kind of crazy. Uh, oh, we unlocked the turret for Jens, but I haven't used it yet. I have no idea how it works. But it looks... I don't know. Sounds sounds dope. Sounds fun. It's probably not as good as I think it is. <laughs> there we go. Um, send any ally flying to any location within five squares. And raise their physical defense and magic defense for three turns. I wonder, like, how how much does this cost? It's probably gonna cost at least three. I'm guessing. Which, at that point, like, is this really that good? Is this really something you'd like to spend that much TP for? Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's not gonna cost three. Whereas, like, if you get movement, isn't that, like, immediately just really, really good? Hmm. Maybe it's worth... ...considering upgrading Sabara's movement. Um... We have Julio's ultimate... Eridor. Become invincible and infuriate all enemies within turn. Ah, uh, we could do this. Rooting star. Yeah, I don't see why not. Stone. And Anna's as well. We should unlock Anna's ultimate. Increases range of command abilities, but... Wait, what? Wait, that's awesome. I feel like Miraculous Light is nice, but it's probably going to be very expensive to use. It's probably going to cost like 4 TP or something, or maybe even 5. I have a feeling. Range is nice. Okay. Let's start by getting 2 stones. Two 
two superior stunts. We only have three in stock, so we need to think if we want to uh, get more, it might be a little... Uh, we might have to make a choice, so I guess what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I honestly just want to upgrade her range. That sounds amazing. Next. One stone and one iron. Okay. Two timber. Maybe that's that's all we need really for now. One stone, one iron, two timber. Oh, that's that's Picoletta. Uh, one stone. One iron, two timber. And now we can unlock the ultimate for... Was it? Eridor, right? Provoke. More defense is also kind of awesome. But, I mean, I think Eridor's ultimate is... It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on how much TP it's gonna cost to use, but I wanna I wanna unlock it. And same with Hasabara. Nah, nah. We gotta go for movement with Hasabara. I don't know. I feel like that's the move. Here. Now let's see. She has six movement now. That's amazing. Alright, well... I think that that's where we're gonna stop then. We got, we're getting close to three hours. Maybe let's check the sundry shop again. We have 500 QP. Not QP, kudos. Kudos. So... Maybe we can get Rejuvenate? Maybe? Why not? Right? Yeah, why not? Just to make sure I'm not missing anything? Nope. It's just Spider Silk that I can get. Why is there like... Way more Spider Silk than I need? Anyway. Well, friends, this is where we're gonna wrap up then. Thank you for joining. Thank you for coming to visit. This was a little bit of a quieter stream, but I had fun. I thought the battle was really fun today. Bloop. And I'm gonna check if we can send off a, a tiny raid somewhere. Uh. Hey, why not Raxby? Why not go and raid Raxby for once? It's been a while. He is playing some he they uh they are playing some pokemon fire red uh what is this leaf green fire red leaf green i know nothing about pokemon so um i just want to go say hi to ragsby i hope you guys join me hope you have uh hope you uh enjoy uh ragsby's stream and say hi and yeah um uh Ka kaizo mon hard i don't know what that is <laughs> but i guess i'm about to see um so yeah if if nothing changes i'll be back tomorrow and i'm gonna study some japanese and probably get tilted again because that's what I do. 
Uh, and then on Thursday, we're going to play more Triangle Strategy. Hopefully by that time, I'll have uh, leveled up my characters so that we can do the next story battle. Or maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow instead of learning Japanese. Anyway, bye. See you guys on the other side. Bye-bye. Bye. Later, alligator.